<laughs> welcome. I don't know how I'm gonna get this through this webinar with you on without me giggling so much, but I'm gonna try. It's okay I'm to giggle. Best. I know. Right. I am gonna do my best. So welcome everyone. Um, thank you for joining us. J-Man, welcome to the Wise Agent Weekly Webinar Series. We're excited to have you. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. This is gonna be. be fun. Yeah, it will be. So I'm you're, you're yes. So um, I, you know, we we usually start off by like introducing you know everyone here. So I'll introduce you in a second. But I want to tell she can. I'm going to tell them a funny story that happened between. Oh yes. Why I'm going to tell because yeah. I think it's hilarious, <laughs> and um, and I didn't get a chance to tell that many people because I got <laughs> wrapped up with other things. But so Jamie Ann and I were talking about this webinar series through um, Facebook Messenger. I don't know what happened. I wear sometimes I wear earrings and I well I wear earrings every day. And I was in the middle of a conversation with him on Facebook, got a phone call, started talking on the phone. Well, the new iOS, you know, update, what it does is you don't have to leave your app that you're on while you're on a call. So I'm talking and I was talking to my sister. So I was, you know, kind of bobbing my head around and whatnot. And um, if you're joining, this is just a little intro of, of me and Jay Man, and feel free to post in our chat and tell us where you guys are all are from. Um, so, so I'm talking to my sister, hang up the phone, look at my messenger, and all I see is pink hearts everywhere. And it says, you changed the theme to love the love theme. And I'm like, yeah. oh, what did I do? Oh my gosh, I was dying. I was dying because I don't. I didn't know J-Man very well. Um, now I feel like I'm very well acquainted with him after that scenario. And so yeah. I was dying and he was just um, such a, a, um, a great person about it. He was just, he just- I was like, oh, I love, with it. Too, I, was like, I love you too, I love you too. Thank you. Oh man, that awkwardness is over. We got it. We're, we love each other as friends and we're, we're okay with that. But it was because even then when we we had a zoom after that to discuss what we were going to talk about today and you were like i'm still kind of like uh i was i <laughs> was, was so funny. i'm still i'm like turning red right now so um <laughs> <laughs> so we talk about it i was just so embarrassed but and then i didn't know how to turn it off of um you know this love theme and had to have j-man do that for me but it was yeah. just a great time. It was hilarious. So, you know, those awkward moments, even when those awkward moments happen, you, um, you know, you could still build a, a, a friendship and a bond and it's- Oh, 100%, um, it's yeah. Good. Yeah, so, so that was kind of how we um, really started to get to know one another was through that awkwardness. So, yeah, and he was gracious about it. So it's all good. Yeah, thanks. Thank all you. right, there we go. So we made it to 902. Jamie, I'll let you introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about who you are and yeah, go for it. Uh, good morning, good morning, good morning, or good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, my name is Jeremiah J Man Monero. I own a company called J Man Speaks, but I'm also a real estate practitioner going on 15 years. Um, I like to think of myself as a video influencer, outside the boxer, boat rocker, live video creating, SOB realtor. No, uh, it's not a son of a broker. But I, I specialize in, in social media, video, and technology and helping real estate agents really step outside their comfort zones and adapt new technology to the real estate businesses. Because that's part of it. Because there's so many people that tell you how to do it, but if you can't get over that first step, that fear of whatever it is, fear of video, fear of, of whatever it is, that, that's my specialty to help you step outside your comfort zone and, and achieve great things so that you can live a better life, right? Whether that's make more money, spend more time with family, or if you're in a lovely place like Arizona or, or California or anywhere in the United States, spend some more time outside, right? Quality exactly. of life. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and um, we met uh, last year at, I believe it was Triple Play. Um, we were there, right? I think yeah. it was Triple Play that we met and, um, and then just have had great conversations since then. Um, and so, yeah, so I asked Jeremiah, or J you do go by J-Man, right? You do prefer that? That's fine. I don't when, my mom's, when my mom's mad at me, she calls me J Man. No, she yeah, J Man's fine. Whatever's easier for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I'll just call you J Man because I know that's your preferred that is your preferred name, right? I'm in sales as long as you call me. I'm okay. <laughs> See, there you <laughs> go, folks. <laughs> that's it. So you've got a, a line for everything. So that's awesome. Right? I mean, it just it's there's gotta be, you know, there's 
Uh, your personality has to show <laughs> from your heart. You, your, your personality has to shine in everything that you do. And yeah. uh, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about that and just um, how to, um, so that the, um, the theme of today is successfully conquering the holidays as an agent. So, you know, what does that mean? And, um, you know, so it'll be a, a, about the holidays, but also just in general, how are you, um, you know, how you're going to be, um, you know, what you, what, how you market yourself and how you talk to your audience and, and your um, clientele and your leads and whatnot. So, um, so this is going to be a fun one today and hopefully you guys all learn things. Feel free to ask any questions either in the chat, I'll be monitoring that, as well as the Q&A portion. So if you have any questions for us, um, please feel free to, um, to po post those there. Um, and I think um, my team is also monitoring Facebook because I don't see it updating at all right now. But um, so yeah, so we'll be watching for your questions. Um, one of the first things I wanted to talk to you about, um, wanted to ask you, J-Man, was um, what are your recommendations for agents staying in contact with, you know, with clients during the holidays? Like, what should their message be? What should it change from, you know, what it was last week or last month? Well, I mean, we all know we're in the middle of something right now, right? And I, I think it's important to, I, I would like to say people don't care how much you know, so they know how much you care. And, and you know, don't call and say, hey, our market is tremendous. It is on fire. Who do you know thinking about buying or selling a home today? That's not what I want to hear right now. Why not just pick up the phone, call your clients and say, hey, I haven't spoken to you in a while. How are things? And then wait for a response and have a real conversation with your clients. Um, it's amazing when you're authentic and you're true to who you are and you care about your client, how they might say, you know what? I was thinking my cousin, my sister, my nephew, they're all thinking about buying. You don't even have to mention it. It just comes up because they know what you do. Uh, but, but if you care about the person first, care about the relationship first, and then maybe they might tell you, hey, in the springtime, I was thinking of getting a rental property or a vacation rental or, you know, a second home or making a move. I hear how hot the market is. You know, I, I think first step during the holidays, because so many agents, they just flip a switch and they go, holiday season, and they turn off their business. Yeah. Right. And they're like, it's just slow this time of year. So I'm just going to do nothing. And I'm like, 2021 starts, has started already. The things you do now are going to affect your first quarter of next year. Right. So you have to put a, put a plan into place and, you know, use technology, use your CRM to that. So you can kind of round robin your clients, meaning you touch, because if you don't, if you don't have a plan for your, it's not prospecting really, it's re your relationship building, then you're going to call your clients that are your favorites. Right. The right. people, oh, Lenny, how I know, I know I just talked to you last week, but how are things? And it, you know, and it's if you have a system like, OK, I want to do five people a day and have your system remind you of that. Then you can go through your entire database so that you don't have to see that person you sold a home to five years ago on the hot sheet yeah. in the spring. Right? right. Like, oh, I sold that person that house. And yeah. it's our fault because we didn't stay in touch. You know, we didn't stay top of mind. Uh, so that, that would be how I would change things right now from what, what we were doing last week, last year, earlier this year. Yeah. And I think that's just the theme of, I mean, just forever, not just like right now in the holidays. It's just about always in real estate. It's always and forever will be build that relationship. And I mean, I can't stress that enough is that you should definitely be going out and, you know, calling people, reaching out to them. It doesn't always have to be like you said, it doesn't have to be about real estate. It's just, how are you? Just be human. And, you know, and, right. um, you know, and then you can ask fun questions. I know before we got on um, and started, um, started the um, webinar today, we were talking about, you know, if we've, if I've decorated my house yet for Christmas or whatnot, you can have those type of questions like, hey, have you started decorating? Just be, just, you know, talk to them like you would be talking to somebody that you already know and like and, and have like a good relationship with. It's, it doesn't have to be overcomplicated in any way, right? Yeah, you know, it's, and it's sometimes people shy away from like, oh, well, I don't want to say Christmas. And it's like, well, you can say Christmas and they go, oh, we celebrate Hanukkah. Okay, well, how is that different? Uh, you know, let's have a conversation about that. We're not going to go deep into religion, but right. how does that, how is that different? What do you guys do? Like, what are your traditions? Uh, b because again, it's like just having this great conversation, sharing experiences. And even in the conversation we had, 
I'm so used to this time of year going and cutting down a Christmas tree because I live in upstate New York, right? right? We have evergreen trees and you're like, Jay, I'm in the freaking desert, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. what you know, tree am I cutting down? <laughs> you cut down a squirrel. No, you can't do yeah. that. That's illegal. Don't do that if you're in Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. but then he said, you know, I'm really, no, don't, don't yeah. do that though. Um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, and you, you know, just share experiences. I think that's really cool. I know um, you even have a video talking about, you know, where to go around the holiday season and what to do. I think that's a great thing to be doing doing right now for agents you, wherever you live across the, the country or the globe. I mean, there's things that are happening right now, even if you're in the desert, um, you know, that that are holiday themed, um, either Christmas or whatever it is um, that you could be sharing with your with your contacts, with your clientele and give them ideas on what they can be doing. Yeah, you know, I always like to think, OK, if I was my client because my clients are like me, and I went to my social media or I went to any kind of marketing that I was receiving, what would I want to consume? Like, what would I want to watch, engage with, read? And that's, that's where I step. That's my first step for creating content. And so mm -hmm. like I, I, I shared the video in the chat here and we'll share it on Facebook as well uh, for, you know, every Black Friday, we go and cut down a Christmas tree. And the very first time I did that, I said, you know what, people need tips for this because I didn't bring gloves. I was like Spider-Man after I could climb the walls. I had so much tree sap on my hands, right? Yeah. And then we t I told the story of like, I was trying to cut down this tree and I had the worst saw known to mankind. It was like a butter knife trying to cut down this evergreen tree. And after a while, I'm like, ah, trying yeah. to smash this tree down. And I'm like, let me just help people. Hey folks, bring a saw, okay? Bring gloves. Here are some things to look for. And then here's a great local place that we like to go to every single year that has you know, they have Christmas killers, they have fresh cook, they have all these, this whole environment of holiday cheer that, mm -hmm. you know, if you're, you're a local expert, you're somebody who specializes in real estate, you know, all these really great spots. So why not help your clients, help your sphere to have these same experiences that you're, you're having with your family, because that's probably your ideal client, right? And, and that just goes to, you know, bring value and, and, you know, bring your value, every single thing that you do. It doesn't matter if it's um, an email, a phone call, or a video, bring some value to the table. So then they see you as the local expert in, right. you know, in real estate, in that, in that location that you're at, whatever your, your area is. So then they know like, Hey, you know, what's happening um, in this neighborhood. You've got, right. you know, you know, the business owners, you, you know, the people that live here in this community, and then you're part of the community. That's a big thing um, that people, you know, people love being connected with one another. I think that's huge, or especially throughout the, the holiday season. Well, and I think so many of our small businesses have been hurt this year with the pandemic. And then some of us have had some pretty significant riots in our area, mm -hmm. which it's hard for small businesses to recover from. So why not, you know, if you specialize in an area, go visit all of your local businesses and say, hey, I would love to do something to help promote your business. What kind of Black Friday specials are you doing? You know, it doesn't have to be a video. Look, I, I say video because I love to do that, but it could be, here's a, here's a post or an email that you're sending out, and here's a link to all of the local people, all of the local businesses, and here's an offer that they have for Black Friday, or here's an offer that they have for the Monero team at XYZ Realty clients, right? It's something right. that I help secure for you guys because I'm a local business owner just like they are, and, and we help each other grow and, and yeah. stay in business. Yeah. Yeah. Why not do that. that? Yeah. I love that. And I love supporting local businesses. I know that, you know, and that's, um, that's something that everyone can do. I mean, and that's, I think that's a whole other topic, but, um, I'm, I'm super passionate about that and supporting local because that is part of, that's your community. Um, and one, when you support that, you really get in, in, you know, really involved. And there, that's where the support is. They support you, you support them, and it's a win-win for everyone. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. And so, um, you know, one of the things with even with Wise Agent, you can be sending out your, your monthly newsletter, include something, you know, that's, you know, fully editable that you can customize. So include things like, hey, this is a, you know, this is the, where you can go to chop down your own Christmas tree, or this is where you can go get, um, I heard of these new things, they're like um, hot chocolate bombs. Have you heard of this? It's what? like, 
Yeah. So I'm going this week to this lo local market um, that sells these hot chocolate bombs. And they're like these little, like, have you heard of bath bombs, right? So yeah. it's like that, but it's just made out of chocolate. And then you pour either hot water or hot milk and it becomes hot chocolate. And they're fantastic. Oh. If you live in Arizona, come to Fountain Hills. They're having, so That's I'm cool. Like, I thought it, I've I not thought tried it, it involved Jaeger or some kind of alcohol and they <laughs> dropped it in with hot chocolate. It's something different, I guess. <laughs> that that sounds cool. Maybe you can send me some of those hot chocolate bombs. I, I know. I'm excited. Those. I'm gonna have to try it, and I'll see. And, and my friends and family will get some hot chocolate bombs this year. I think it's gonna be really cool. But yeah, definitely. You know, do something. You know, where you can talk about something that's happening local um, in your newsletter and your email that's going out. Um, you know, include things like that. Just really include your personality and let people see who you are and you know, and, and your values. And, and, you know, that's, that's something that will draw people towards you. So definitely. Yeah, I, I, I think that um, when people ask me, like, what, what's the, the thing that I like to concentrate on the most? And it's, it's just being who I am, right? If, if, if you talk to me now virtually, it's going to be the same person. If you saw me having coffee, or if you saw me at a conference, like, this is me, I got ADHD, I'm an extrovert, I can't help it. I'm a little bit silly, but I'm never going to hide that because that's how we're going to build rapport. You're either going to like me or not. And that's okay. As long as I'm being true to who I am. So yeah. whatever you do, like, don't, and I wish somebody told me this when I first started, like, don't think you have to be who that version of a realtor is in the industry, right? Where you're like, oh, a professional person would never wear a t-shirt with a suit jacket, even though I got the big R on my chest right I mean says who right yeah. like do what you want to do be yeah. happy and, and your, your clients will follow yeah. and I think that's really important too is like um you know building your brand and and staying authentic to that um you know one of the things we talked about too earlier was even like my background and how you know I've recently changed this to be more authentic and more towards me and how you know who I am as a person I think that's really important to um, you know, for agents to really embrace who they are as a person and, and have that come out in their branding. Because then um, I love what you said earlier that um, your, you know, your clients are like you and you are like your clients. You like your clients because they are like you. Um, right. So definitely that's, there's that law of attraction there. So, you know, you attract what you put out there. Um, so if, so that, I think that's a huge thing for people to remember especially even during the, the holiday season is to, um, to put that out there, you know, really to keep that going. So why don't you share with them the Coco Chanel quote you have on your wall, just, you can read it. You don't have to like turn yeah, the camera. So I do. I, I love Coco Chanel. Um, so I, this, and it's totally appropriate in what we're talking about. So it says be right. who you are not what the world wants you to be. And so I think that's so important that you just be you um, and you're unique and, and loved by people because of your own qualities and don't shy away from those things. So that is um, definitely something um, something to just keep in mind and just be mindful of. And I know, you know, um, one of the things that we were going to be talking about today is like trans transaction management and, and, you know, how that can, our transaction management and wise agent can help. I know, so you, you, I'm not, I'm not going to put words in your mouth. So tell us what you do for transaction yeah. management. Yeah. So I don't like to do transaction management. It's great to have a system that I can just delegate it and have it taken care of because in real estate, you should concentrate on what you're good at. And for me, it's talking to people, it's being with people, it's being with buyers and sellers and helping them achieve the American dream of home ownership. If I was better at paperwork <laughs> or pushing transactions around I would have probably never became a realtor or in real estate right like that's not one of the strong suits that it's part of you know doing what I do and so I think managing your transaction making sure things that are on time is so critical because here's here's the the example I always give you could get to the airport early right when we can go to the airport again but you get to the airport early and they're like oh my gosh Eleni we're going to give you a free bag check. And you know what? We're upgrading you to first class. You're like, man, today is the day I'm living life. And then your, your flight is wonderful. They bring you your hot towel and all of that. It's just fantastic. You come in for the landing. It's the roughest landing you've ever experienced in your entire life. Yeah. What do you remember? 
do you remember that you got there early, that you got upgraded, that you got this free, you know, do you got all of that? Or do you remember the ending, how rough that was, right? right? When you get off that plane and you go, oh my gosh, I almost died. That was awful. Real estate is just the same way. You could do a great job. You could negotiate, you know, there's 20 offers and you, you're offer one. And then they get into a contract and then you're a ghost. Yeah. They don't hear oh, from you yeah. because you don't have a transaction management. Like you, you have them here. Let's keep on going and exceed those expectations by having a system in place. That's how you make sure that it can be duplicated over and over again. And yeah. your clients are happy, right? Letting them know everything throughout the process. Uh, because if you, we, we all get busy, we're all human. You may forget to make that call. You may forget, but if you have a system in place using the transaction management, um, you know, like within wise agent, then you're going to be a hero at the end. Yeah. Right? You're going to be there. You're going to get the invite to that housewarming party. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and, and you definitely want to keep in that and, and really know what you are good at, because like you said, if you're not good at that paperwork or those deadlines, which are so critical and so vital, then, you know, get that out to somebody else, you know, get an admin or, you know, hire a transaction coordinator or whatever it is to just get somebody else on that. So then you're not, you're not that responsible party that's not really responsible for it. So, um, you know, right. work to your work, work your strong suit. If you're the personable person um, that likes to go out and make those connections and make those relationships, then, you know, and that's, that's what you're really good at, then, you know, um, you know, give out that other work, sub that out to somebody else where they can handle it. Um, and so that's, that's always a great tip to, to have that, um, you know, and, so we've got um, a couple of questions here, but I'll get to that in a minute. I know one of the things is, so what um, someone's asking, what do you do for um, newsletters? What do you, do you send out any newsletters, monthly newsletters? Um, like so my, I'll, again, I, 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 it's video, right? It's video related. It's more of like a video update. Um, I feel like we've been newsletter to death. Um, so if yeah. you have one, great, personalize it but add, add your personality and your life into it. Like, don't just put, here's the real estate market, folks. Actually, this price to sale price ratio, I worry, right? Put, hey, my, guess what? My son turned 10 yesterday, right? And, and that was great. It was his first pandemic birthday. We had a great time. Like, uh -huh. put some of, the, some of you in there because see, Eleni, she's got, she's got kids and it's like, we automatically go, ah, oh, ah, oh, right? Uh -huh. Rather than, nobody yeah. goes like this, oh, market statistics. <laughs> I love that so much, except engineers probably and, and like architects and stuff. But, yeah. you know, put, put some of your heart into those newsletters. Don't just make it about the business. Make it about your personal life. If you can add video in there, if you get, can add a personal touch, um, you know, and if your company has a newsletter, like personalize that because if you have a big company, everybody's sending out the same thing. Yeah. And we want you to be unique. Set yourself apart from the competition, even within the office. Yeah. I want to get to know you. I want to get to know your family. I want to get to know your business. And then that's, that's how you build rapport. And that's how you have a referral based business for a long, long time. Yeah. Not going, know. you know, right, right. touch points. How many times can I touch this person before they're going to buy? Like, yeah. do you ever say that's that to a person in real life? Like, Eleni, I'm going to touch you 12 <laughs> times and then you're going to buy next year. <laughs> you had me arrested. Right. I mean, but it's, <laughs> that's the marketing terms that we use these days. Like, like okay. Right. Right. Keep in touch. Yeah. So, um, so someone's asking for me to share my screen to, to show how you would add a, um, a video in the newsletter that we offer. So I'm going to show you here. So you can, um, so I'm in our email contacts, the, you know, and our newsletter could be, um, you know, printed out if you want to, obviously can't be printed with video, um, but it can be um, printed out. Let me see if I have a newer one. I've got Let's see Spanish. Um, you want to do the Spanish one? It's from. Bueno dia, bueno dia, bueno dia. Habla oh, we'll just, Manero, aquí con la no, right. Okay, we'll just ahead. pretend that this one is from December. But you just take this and wherever you want to add a YouTube video, so you want to add to it, you know, right here, wherever wherever you feel like it makes sense for you to add, um, you can just come in here and just um, click into the um, body of the newsletter and add this little YouTube button here. And I'm going to paste in this link. And that was the link that you. Oh, you sent. the link I gave you. Yeah, Did that was that mm. not the. Hope it's a good one. Okay. I hope so. Here we go. Hold on. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it worked. It doesn't work. Well then I got the spinning circle here. So let me put in the link. And there you go. So it it fills in like so when once you do it, it will bring in the title of the of the um, video, you could center this. I like centering things. Um, yeah, and you can yeah. edit this out how you want. If you want to add to this, you want to delete from it, whatever it is that you want to do. And then it has a nice play button here. So then when you send it out, let me click on preview. Obviously, it'll go out all branded with your information and everything in it. Um, but then here it is right here, top places to cut down your own Christmas tree. So include something in here that um you know that is personalized to you and and your liking so then um, people do get to know you or get to know the area and realize that you're the area expert so um, it's a really quick and easy way of doing it just took what a couple of clicks to um to make that happen so we've um we've been you know i share this all the time because i think it's so important to include videos oh, yeah. um in here i think um one of the things i'd like to know is like what what kind of videos, um, I think this was a question that we had even the last webinar we did, what videos do you think agents need to have in their kind of in their um, in, in their video logs, like what kind of videos in do you think library? They yeah. I think the first one should be why you got into real estate. Hmm. Like everybody talks about, oh, you got to talk about the, your, your qualifications. I think start with the why. If you can share with the world your why and why you do things like, hey, this is Jeremiah's J. Man Monero with the Monero team at XYZ Realty. I can tell you that I love every day that I'm able to help people achieve the American dream of home ownership. You know, when I can help that single mom who started crying at the final walkthrough because she used to be homeless and sleep in her car with her two kids, like that means everything to me. Changing people's lives, that's what we do every day. So when you think about real estate, think about the Monero team or your, your architects of the American dream. Yeah. Right? You see, I like I brought a, a story in it, it's a true story. I wrote a story in there. I, I, I keep contact with you here. And that is why I love real estate. Like I, I feel that I'm a good enough salesperson that I could sell anything on the planet. I chose to be in real estate because of the effect that it has on people's lives. And I think when you can share that, like right in the beginning, like people go, oh, oh, you're, you're going to make some commission on this. Yeah, but that's not why I do this. Right, I'm not going to live or die by one transaction. Um, I live by the fact that I'm going to come back here five years from now, and you're going to have a couple kids, and you're going to have all these memories that you created, and I help to be part of that, you know, part of that process. Where it, you know, in the book of life, that beginning chapter where you bought a home with your family, I'm in there, yeah. right? I got to be a part of that, and so I think starting with with your why, and then it's just explaining the process. I think uh, helping people understand. The real estate process right now and in the future how it's different um yeah and 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 you know it has if you're, oh it's changed, changed tremendously and if you're in a seller's market which most of the markets still are um some were, are correcting just a bit but they're not slowing down that much if it's a seller's market you got to explain to that buyer like hey here are some things to expect during the real estate transaction you'll probably write a dozen offers you'll probably write and go through all the worst case scenarios so that when that first offer doesn't get accepted, they don't look to you as that you failed. They looked at you and said, oh, you know what? You did say this. This is part of the process and, and let's go get through it. And then what I would do is just create a list of all the questions you get from your clients more than once, an FAQ. And then mm -hmm. those, those are the, that's where you start creating your video content. Because if they have questions, you should have answers. And it's part of what they're Googling these days when you talk about the modern consumer. Yeah. You know, they're doing research two to 24 months prior to ever picking up the phone and saying, hey, Jay, I want to buy a house. They're on Google, they're on YouTube. And that's where having all these little videos that I created, these little snippets, two to four minutes, right? Hey, where can I cut down a Christmas tree? Hey, where can I get my pumpkin? Uh, hey, what, where's a great, something to do outside during the winter? All of those videos I've created and I can be found and they go, man, this guy keeps coming up. He must be an expert in the area, right? right? So, yeah. And I have questions about real estate. Oh, I have a whole separate playlist for that. Nice, nice. Yeah, that, that's um, that's a good thing to have in your libraries. Just have all of those questions already done because it it does. I mean, no matter how many times you go through the process, it's you know if you're you know new home home buyer, um, you know you've done it a few times, 
it's always going to be emotional and it's such an emotional process too that you always have questions i know that's that's how i've been um when i've purchased any homes i yeah, I don't know how. Well, even if you bought in February, it's going to be different, right? February right. till now, like all of our markets, they're going essential, non-essential. You know, there's all these different things and rules that are changing as, as we have these these ebbs, these peaks and valleys. Um, mm -hmm. So explaining to them how that might work, and I think many of our markets have low inventory because the sellers have lost confidence. So if you can create video content to help them gain that confidence to put their home on the market safely, like here's our. Uh, safe selling system to get your home sold during a pandemic, yeah. right? I like I like alliteration and, and three things at a time. So safe selling system um, nice. to get your home sold immediately. Now I'm listening, right? Because yeah. I, I wanted to put it on the market, but maybe I'm high risk. Maybe I'm in an area with, with more seniors, but I'm worried if somebody shows my house, I might get the COVID. Well, guess what? We can put your house on the market and nobody has to come see it. We can sell it virtually. Oh, you can? Yeah. Yes, we can. And here's how. Right. That's a good thing to have too. And, and, and obviously in video has been helping a lot with that, you know, um, just because that's just the, the days that we're, yeah, what we're doing right now, that's just the, the days that we're in right now is, is doing that. That's awesome. Um, I don't know. Um, did we have other stuff that we wanted to cover here? I'm trying to, trying to read my, um, my cheat sheet. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the Q and A and in the chat, and we're happy to go through those with you guys. I know one of the things is just, um, you know, that I wanted to ask you is, so how did you get into the video? And like, I know you've got a lot of video equipment and a lot of different things um, that you have, like what, um, if people were saying, okay, I, I do like doing video, but I don't know, you know, can I just do it with just like my iPhone or my, my Android phone or whatever? Um, yeah. What's your advice to them? My advice is, yes, you can folks. Okay, all you gotta do is, Sound like a politician. That was Obama's. That was Obama's uh, thing. But if you just have your phone, maybe you have an Android or, you know, an, an iPhone. I'm not going to say each one is better than the other. It should be some kind of double digit, at least iPhone, 10 or better, or X or better, or a Samsung Galaxy S10 or better, because that's when they changed up. It's like it's hard to probably see, but mine has three lenses mm -hmm. on this side, and then it has two lenses on the selfie side, right? right? So that that makes a huge difference in creating your video uh, content. If you have a flip phone, I'm not even I'm gonna talk about that. <laughs> Slowly back out of the room and go to the store and get yourself something new. Uh, Cause you, you can flip houses, but you should never flip a phone. You should <laughs> just focus on progress, not perfection is what uh, one, of the, my, one of my favorite quotes because too often we get in our own way. They're like, oh, well, J-Man has a studio and lights and cameras. You look at 90% of my videos, it's, I was out cutting that tree and I'm like, let me pull my phone out, create content right now. Because what you could do, I mean, it's really easy. Anything that you're gonna be doing, you take little snippets, like 30 seconds to a minute. Here's the trees getting cutting down. Here's me giving a tip. Here's the, you know, Santa Claus and his elves. Here's, and I take all that and I'll use a program called Animoto. A-N-I-M-O-T-O -O, to make a movie. It's called the movie maker, okay. right? So the one yeah. you saw that it's, it's sty it, it creates that stylized video that's for the holidays. I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm just cutting and pasting video and images to create this really nice, uh, really nice video with royalty free music built right in that you don't have to worry about. Nice. Yeah. And that's so just use your phone. Yeah. Get it done. Yeah. So, and yeah, you don't have to have a lot of equipment. It can just be, you know, just your phone and, and you. And I love what you said too, it's focus on, on progress and not perfection. I mean, you don't, you know, a lot of times people do focus on that perfection because then a, a 30 second video will take you three and a half hours to do. And, and I know right. <laughs> I've done that. I know Sarah's watching and she's like, yes, I'm on the other side of that. And they can, because you want, you want to come across as perfect. But I mean, in reality, we're not, sometimes we stutter and stammer for words and search for words. English is my second language. So sometimes I have the, the Greek word in my head and I'm like, how do I say that in English really fast? Um, so definitely you, you don't want to be, you know, perfect in it because you're not, you're not. And so well, I think might. it's, yeah. And I think it's totally okay to just show that side of yourself and, um, and, and just be, 
um, be who you are. And I think that was, um, that's been the theme of the day. I think I like that theme though. It's a warm, fuzzy feeling. It's nice. It's a, it's a theme of life, folks. It is a okay? the theme of life. It is, it is. So yes. And, and so um, I, I really appreciate having you on today. It was a great conversation. I hope you guys all learn things, you know, just being authentic and, um, we have a question and we do have a question i'm trying to read do you think being live is better yes yes should do i say you... why yeah go ahead i, I was like well okay. that's a short answer <laughs> here you go well you here's why Be because those of you who are scared to do something right you're like if you re pre-record it and then you go back and edit your own stuff, you're going to be like, oh, my God, oh my, God. my hair, oh, my face. I can't believe my face. Look, that outfit, oh, my R, it's wrinkled. All of these things, it's in your own mind. When you do something live, like right now, I don't have control over any of this, yeah. right? I'm going live, I've done it, and I walk away, right? And, and, yeah. and, and I don't worry about it. And I prom what, I, what I promise you is that your people, your people that, that surround you, your sphere, whatever, wherever you, you are and, and, and whatever platform you're on will support you. They're going to like, they're going to comment and, and stop focusing on, on what we would call vanity metrics. Like if I don't get a, a thousand views on a video, I don't care. Yeah. What, I, what I want is just one person to watch that video and for it to change their life, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, I'll, I'll finish with this because I get on a platform and I get excited when I start talking about video, but it's like somewhere, somebody, okay, is going to watch a video that you have not yet created. Okay. And that video will change their life because you will help them achieve the American dream of homeownership. And if you don't believe that you can retire today, folks. Okay. <laughs> but I think if you're, if you're watching this right now, you're passionate about real estate, you want to do better. And it's like, just, just share your heart with people. And it's amazing the things that you can accomplish. Like stop thinking it, stop being transactional, just be human throughout the holidays, have great conversations, talk about life and, and how it is to be a human being during these trying times. Cause we're all, we're all going through it together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that's so great. And, and I think, you know, just being, you know, I, I, when we do these, these um, webinars, I never watch the replay just because, you know, I have my, my kids watch it. Other people watch it for me. I don't, because then I'm like, Hey, my, what, what was my hair doing? What was this? What was that? You know, or I see a, a speck of something or, on my desk or whatever it is, we can become our own worst critic. And there's really nobody else is going to notice that except for you. And we become so harsh on ourselves that it just sometimes is, you know, it's just not necessary. I think it's just, you do one cut, it's good, and you do your best. And obviously we always try and put our best foot forward. Um, and I try and do that every week that I've been on here is put my best foot forward and have great conversations with my guests and, and for everyone that's watching so and re-watching this. And hopefully that we're giving you guys some, some good tips and good advice and, and you should be taking this and doing the same thing, you know, talking about your real estate world and, and your market and your community and who you are and what value you bring. Um, and show that personality and make that make yourself shine um, and show people you're not perfect and it's okay and everyone's everyone will give you some grace and um, be I think everyone's pretty gracious about things like that I, I would, oh I, yeah and and here's the thing like if you have somebody who hates on you mm -hmm. they're not your friend okay yeah I mean hello right if somebody's going um you like if you see somebody and they go oh, you think you're so cool you're doing those live videos. Yeah. It has to do with their insecurities that they're trying to project on you, right? right? They're actually jealous of what you're doing because they're too scared to do it. So when you hear that, when somebody hates on you, you got to take them like, oh, I'm winning. I yeah. am so winning right now and say, you know what? Thank you so much. You know, I wish you all the best. May you live forever and just walk <laughs> away, drop the mic and walk away yeah. because that, that's, that's how you know you're winning. Yeah. So we do have another question here. So what would you do at the final walkthrough if they decide it kind of goes with what you just said, right? What would you do at the final walkthrough if they decide not to buy the house at the end? Yikes. Uh, let's see. What would we do? We, they're still our friends. Look, I don't care if you buy a house from me. That's what I'm, you know, and, and if that, that has happened, I can give you a real life example. 
with no inventory in, in our market or very low inventory. Uh, I had a client who worked for the city of Rochester and there were homes that were available for city of Rochester employees that were offered first. And there's no provision for any kind of fee for surface service, also known as a commission for a buyer's agent because these properties are over improved as it is. They're like 150% loan to value. They have all these grants on them and stuff like that. So she said to me, I like, I feel so bad that if I buy this house, you're not going to get paid. And, and I, I said to her, we're going to call her Sandra because that's her name. Um, and I said, look at, <laughs> I want you to be happy, right? It's not about like, I was happy that I could show you some homes. We wrote some offers, but if, if this is the right home for you, I'm okay with it because you know what? You're going to be my best referral source for the rest of your life, right? Right. <laughs> you know? and, and she goes, oh yeah, absolutely. You've been so great. And, like, and here's the thing, just because you're buying that, doesn't mean you can't call me a real estate expert to ask me questions. You can't call me to say, hey, I need somebody to do this. Hey, I need an inspector. Hey, I need an attorney. I'm still here for you as your real estate expert, regardless of whether we ever do business. I mean, I, I talk to dozens of people a month who just have questions about real estate. And, and my, my intention is never to convert them. It's just to demonstrate my expertise. Somewhere down the line, they're going to go, hey, I remember he helped me. Yeah. And I'd love to do business with him. And if not, fine. Maybe someday they buy me a cup of coffee or, you know, they, they just talk positively about me, my company, my, you know, my team. That's great. And that's, um, that's something that's really great. And I think, you know, a lot of people, you know, are in real estate for that reason. Some people are, are not, obviously, and that's okay. But I think the people that are in it, I mean, that's just, um, it just goes back and, you know, just you put trust in people and, um, you know, and that they'll do what, what is right. Cause sometimes it's not about, um, you're, pro you're providing a service and sometimes it's, um, they can just provide a service right back to you with that referral or with that review. And, um, and then it just becomes an easier ask sometimes, um, because sometimes I know that can be a harder thing to ask for that referral. Um, but when, especially if you're doing something, you know, just because that's just how the, that transaction went down, um, that you say, hey, well, yeah, if you just refer me to, to your friends and family, that, you know, we can call it even. Um, and that, you know, comes back to you. Comes back to right. you. So I, I might say like half joking, but it's like, hey, you know, you, you can be my best referral source yeah. forever, right? Right. You, you, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. And then she goes, yeah, yeah, I will. I know you really did take, because she was a referral. It was, she was a referral to me in, in, you know, to begin with. Right. Right. She was referred to me. So she understands how that process works. Um, and that's why it's so important during the holidays, stay in touch with your people. You're going to go to holiday gatherings, have great conversations. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should touch on before we finish. Cause I know it seems like we're getting to the deadline. I see you looking at the clock. Um, you know, how to have a conversation would probably be a skill set that folks could develop further because. Right. Definitely. I mean, and, and having that conversation, I think just you know, staying with things that are obviously more neutral on the neutral side of things. You don't want it, especially during the holidays, you don't want it to get too heated. But having those conversations, I think the best opening line is like, how are you? Like, and really, you know, engage them. Um, I know it's so difficult and I sometimes can be guilty of it where, you know, you ask somebody a question, like, how are you, right? And such a like personal surface. question. Yeah, right? well, sometimes and then, it's like a surface level. Like, I'm hoping you just say great and we can yeah. finish this. Yeah. And then you ask them the question, then you start looking on your phone and you're scrolling through your phone and it's like, you really don't want to know how I am. And then that's when you get, I'm great. Thanks. Bye. Um, so then put the phone away, you know, keep that somewhere, you know, in your purse, in your pocket somewhere where you can start engaging in those conversations and ask questions and listen. And then I love, you know, especially this time of year, you know, people are always, you know, it's the holiday season. People are, you know, going to be getting gifts and buying gifts for other people and whatever and talking about what their wish list is maybe or what they want and their favorite foods and drinks. I usually go back and I like make note of that or you know just when I can get get back to my phone and make notes of that like oh they love you know this kind of wine or they love this kind of whatever this is you know this is what they're looking for this is what they're wanting. Um, so, and maybe it's an extravagant gift and you're like, oh, I can't afford that, but there's something that goes with it that is in your price range that would enhance that gift or whatever it is. I think those are things that 
um, really can set you apart is just that listening and being an active listener and looking at them and not, you know, and being engaged and not looking at your phone or, um, you know, being being distracted by other things that are happening. So, exactly. I'm sorry, you were saying. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's such a good point. And just to piggyback on that, I love chocolate chip cookies, folks. Just putting that out there. Um, <laughs> they can be, <laughs> you can purchase them inexpensively and have them shipped to my office. But uh, on, a, on a more serious note, we teach in, and we teach a lot of the designation classes that NAR offers. And one of the skill sets we talk about is, is the Ford concept of having a conversation. It's, for, it's an acronym, uh, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. That's how those four letters will help you be, to be able to have a conversation with anybody. Because I get some of you may not be an extrovert like me and I could walk in and go, hi, how are you? Hey, I'm, hey guys. Hey, you might go in and go, oh my gosh, I'm at a, I don't know anybody here. I'm freaking out. Right. And it's really easy to say, oh, you know, Eleni, how's, how's the family? How are the kids? You know, you again, doing anything special for the holidays. And, I, and then you go occupation, the second thing. Oh, so you, you're working for Wise Asian. How has that changed? Did you always work from home? Are you at the office a lot? You know, how was that? Recreation. Oh, what are you, so what are you guys doing now that the weather's getting cooler in Arizona, which it's like 70, right? We're, we'd be at the beach, but you guys are wearing parkas. What do you do differently during the winter? And then the dream side of it is like, hey, this has to be over at some point, right? What do you want to do? Where's the one place you want to go when this is all over, exactly. right? And, and then you, they're going to go like this. They go right to their dream state. They go, man, I, we got married in Jamaica. I want to go back to Jamaica. It's been an all-inclusive resort. Oh, man, tell me about that. How was that? I heard Jamaica was really nice. And so when you have these conversations where you're an active listener and, and you, you wait till they're done talking, think about what they said, and then formulate a response. It's amazing how they'll walk away from that conversation and go, that was great. That was oh, nice. that came yeah. in. He's, you know, because they got to talk about themselves. It's everybody's favorite subject, right? <laughs> like they got to talk about themselves and you listened rather yeah. than you going, oh man, real estate's hot. You don't know how much real estate I sold this year. We're setting all kinds of records. Mm -hmm. Like, who cares? Nobody yeah. cares about that. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. That's, that is that is a uh, that's perfect perfect spot now to to drop your mic perfect mic drop moment <laughs> but yeah no that was good because then it is and i love that um ford tip um we should post that on um on facebook on the community group so people have that in their um in their library just to know because i know there's some people like i'm not you know i don't like chit chat i don't like small talk i'm not a i'm not a big small talker person i like deep deep dive conversation things sometimes and especially with my close friends I do love that and so you know and that's it that's I think great tips to kind of help me get over the whole oh we're gonna talk about the weather okay well <laughs> let me let me add this here's here's one signal if you're at like a big party kind of a thing which in some mm -hmm. of our states is illegal now but right. if you were at some point and you go with somebody it's like like have a plan yeah. to network effectively and then like if you and I went somewhere to network I'd be like listen Eleni if I get caught in this conversation I'm gonna go like this <laughs> which means come save me yeah right and then yeah. if you get introduced to somebody then it's like man like I'm 41 years old but I feel like my memories I, I got early onset or something because there's a days like I, I had this client yesterday and I'm like what is their name I don't yeah. know like and so I'm like, oh, Eleni, this is, or no, this is Eleni. And I introduce you first so that you put your hand out or your elbow or your whatever it is. <laughs> and then they can say, hi, my name is Jim. And I can go, oh, yeah, yeah. oh it's Jim. Yeah. Okay, great. Like these are the, we all forget. We're all human or just, yeah. you know, I like when they go, oh, what's your first name again? And I go, well, tell me what my last name is. <laughs> and they go, all right, I can't remember. I'm sorry. And just if you forget, like, again, just be human and be like, man, I am losing it. What, what was your, what was your name again? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that goes back to that being authentic and being whatever, but definitely having, you know, having that skill set of being able to, um, and I, I have, I have a, a secret, it's not even a secret word. I speak Greek. 
And so I've taught my husband a couple of words. So the word for like stand up is Sico. So I'm, you know, so if we're out somewhere with friends and I want to get going, I'm like, all right, Sico, you know, I'll just be like Sico and he'll, he knows that means get up, it's right. time to go. And so I'm getting tired. Sico, Sico. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go, folks. Learn another language so you can communicate behind people's backs. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm Puerto Rican and we communicate with our lips with you, I'll go. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true yeah greeks do their eyebrows a lot so it's like you know yeah <laughs> we do the eyebrow thing but yeah that's awesome well um i think do we have um Oh, so someone's saying they didn't get um, they didn't get into the webinar until 930. Um, but they yes, they want to know for sending out this recording. This is all being recorded. It's also on our community. Um, we're also going to post it on YouTube. We'll email it out to everybody. So everyone will have several different places to go to to, to rewatch this conversation. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, as much as we did. I think, Jamie, you had fun. Um, I know I did. You um, and and we learned a lot yeah. of um, good fun. tips here, so it was very useful. So thank you so much for for joining me. I'll see you guys um, next week. I will be on uh, Tuesday with Brandon Wise. We're going to be um, just talking about some wise wise words from Brandon Wise himself. Wise words from Mr. Wise. Yeah, yeah. And so that will be on Tuesday morning. Um, so I'll be here, and then I am. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, Jamie, for being on. Really appreciate you. Yeah, my and, pleasure. Um, thanks for, to everybody for joining us. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.